Here's what you need to remember. The concept underlying the X-44 Manto was to produce an even superior stealth fighter than the F-22 Raptor, and in no uncertain terms, that is precisely the declared purpose of the NGAD program. However, it's also crucial to note that the X-44 idea was created in 1999, making its design just about as obsolete as the F-35 and the fighters NGAD would be charged with killing the Chinese T-20 and Russian Su-57. Way back in 1999, Lockheed Martin had a plan to produce a delta-shaped stealth fighter that omitted the requirement for a conventional tailpiece in the F-22-based X-44 Manta. Instead of adopting a normal tail section with both vertical and horizontal control surfaces, the Manta attempted to harness thrust vector control or controlling the flow of the engine's thrust to give the aircraft the acrobatic skills it would require in a high-end battle. Today, more than two decades later, that same concept appears to be found consistently across nearly all official renderings of the Air Force's next air superiority fighter being developed under the NGAD or Next Generation Air Dominance program, betting the question, could elements of the X-44 Manta have found their way America's next top-of-the-line fighter? Last year, the U.S. Air Force startled the world with the declaration that they had actually developed, manufactured, and tested a prototype aircraft out of its next-generation air dominance program. This new jet claims to be more advanced than any fighter to ever come before it, built to not only do battle with the superior fifth-generation fighters being cranked out by America's opponents in Russia and China, but to dominate them for decades to come. At exactly about the same time, the Air Force also revealed a birthday-celebrating image purportedly portraying a wedge-shaped aircraft with no conventional tail portion, leaving some to question if the artist's efforts had anything to do with the NGAD announcement that came alongside it. Since then, more official photos out of the Air Force, along with drawings from key aviation businesses like Lockheed Martin, have all revealed similar wedge-shaped aircraft. Some, including me, have looked at Northrop's extremely competent but ultimately passed over my F-23 Black Widow U as the stealthy precedent for this tailless design. But Northrop isn't the only show in town that understands how to make a stealth fighter without a tail. In reality, based on some of these artists' drawings and the practical limits of constructing a new fighter on a short fuse, the X-44 Manta may represent an early version of what has or will become at least part of America's next prize fighter in the sky. The X-44's name, or more accurately, its acronym, gets right to the idea behind the design. After decades of fast fighter development, some features had just come to be regarded standard fare for a good tactical aircraft. Things like a conventional tail section with vertical and horizontal control surfaces. While both the F-22 and later, the F-35, featured significantly different tails than you'd see on a non-stealth fourth-generation fighter like the F-16, the X-44 Manta attempted to pull off the same type of mobility without the need for all those tail surfaces. With no tail part, the aircraft's radar return would be drastically decreased, enabling an even stealthier fighter than America's extremely adept F-22. So, reasonably enough, Lockheed Martin paired up with NASA to discuss about how to bring this vision to existence, successfully constructing an acrobatic aircraft that could skip utilizing its tail for handling would require depending largely on employing thrust vector controls to adjust the direction of the fighter's flight path. NASA had already had a great deal of success using thrust vector controls on a high-performance fighter in the F-15 Active, which was a modified F-15 Eagle that used front wing canards, taken from the tail section of an F-A-18 Hornet, and thrust vectoring jet nozzles to produce a fighter that could outperform the legendary Eagle in almost every appreciable way.